So in this video, we're going to do project one, which is parallel and series circuits. Okay, to start with, we're going to bring in our Arduino microcontroller right set there. Bring in a breadboard, rotate that, and I'm using R, push up at R to rotate. Um, First thing we're going to do is we want to bring power over to our breadboard. So here is our 5 volts power over here on the power side. And of course, power is going to be a red wire. So we'll go ahead and bring that over there, connect that. And I'm going to drag the corner here so that I have a nice straight wire like that. And you can see when it's vertical and when it's horizontal, I get these blue lines. There's my power, and that brings power over to this top, uh, this top hole right here, which is going to power this entire, uh, this entire column. You can see when I hover over any one of them, it highlights the whole column. All right, next we're going to do ground, and it's very similar. We're going to bring it over like this, connect it, and because it's ground, it's going to be black power, red, ground, black. I'll go ahead and straighten that up so that our wires are all running vertically and horizontally. Okay, so to create our first circuit, we're going to bring in an LED. Use the keyboard shortcut R to rotate it around like this. And you'll notice that this LED has two different prongs on it. It's got a short one down here and a longer one up here. And we are going to power the long one. So let's go ahead and put that right here. Doesn't really matter where, as long as it's on one of these. These uh, holes are connected uh, vertically. These are connected horizontally. So if I power uh, A1 right here, A1, it's also going to power B1, C1, D1, and E1. Okay? And that's true for all of these. You can see it highlights them. Um, Cross like this. So you're going to want to bring power over to the seventh, or the seventh uh, row right here, because that is the one that the LED is connected to. But if we just power it like this, the power will be there. And then connect the ground right here to the ground and ground this back. If we just do this, and then start the simulation. Notice current through the LED is 483 and absolute maximum is 20. So obviously that's not good and our LED breaks. We have too much power. So what we need to do is actually bring in a resistor to limit the amount of power that we have coming in. I think we only want so much getting through and this resistor is going to limit that. And right now it is set to one kilo ohm. That's what the K stands for, the kilo. And then the omega is the ohm. And we want to set it to 220 ohms. And as a side note, these, uh, these colors right here each, uh, each number, 0 through 9, has a different color so that you can look at a resistor and see what its resistance is. So red 2, red 2, round 0, 220 ohms of resistance. All right, so power is going to come from 5 volts, travel through this wire. It's going to come down this column. It's going to go through this resistance, which is going to limit how much of it can get through at a time. It's going to go across this horizontal row right here. It's going to come up through this wire into the LED, power the LED, come out through this other prong, and then come over here through this black wire, go back up, and then down through the ground wire like that. So if we set the simulation, you can see our LED lights up. Okay. Now we're going to 
in bring in a push button. So I'm going to bring this down. And the reason we're going to do this is because what if we don't want the LED to always be on? What if we want it to be like a lamp where it only turns on when we push a button? So use R to rotate, and I'm going to bring in this push button over here. And I'm going to put it right here. And the way this push button works is when I click on the button, it's going to complete the circuit from here to here so that power can get through here and come out onto this one. So then I connect it up like this. And that is carrying power, so it will be red. And then ground it like before. So this is the same thing as before, except we've basically put a button in between this end of the resistor and the beginning of this wire right here. So now if I stop the simulation, you can notice the LED does not turn on right away. But if I push the button, it does. And if I let go, it turns off. Okay? And we can do this as many times as we want. We can stop the simulation first. We can bring this down. Get rid of that. And we can put a another push button. Just click and drag. Use R to rotate it horizontal. I'm going to connect it to here, and we're going to put a second one just as before. Bring this down, red for power, and then ground it, and black for ground. Okay, and now if I start the simulation, you can see that if I push just one button, nothing happens because both buttons have to be pushed for the circuit to be complete. And the way I can push both of them is if I hold shift on the key, I can click it and it stays pushed. If I click both, the LED turns on. Okay. This is a series circuit. It's called series circuit because they are in a series. First this one, and then this one. If at any point I break the series by releasing this button, power goes out because the power comes through here, this one, which is pushed, but then stops here because this button is only pushed. Okay, stop the simulation. And let's make a parallel circuit. Parallel circuit is going to be slightly different in that it will, I will be able to push either of the buttons. They won't both have to be pushed for the LED to light up. And the way we do that, is we're going to connect these two together, the top of this one and the top of this one. And we're going to connect the bottom of this one. It will just froze up. Here we go. We're going to connect the bottom of this one to the LED and the bottom of this one. To the LED, just like that. And now, go ahead and run the simulation, and I'm going to show you that if I push this one, it turns on, and if I push this one, it turns on. And the reason why is because power comes through here, through the resistor, onto this row, and then it has a choice. It can either go through this wire, or it can keep going into this push button. If this push button is pushed, then it goes through here. Click that and so it stays on. It goes through here. The button is pushed. comes out through terminal 2A into this wire, down to the LED, and then out through ground and around to ground over here. If this button is not pushed, but this one is pushed, then it will go through the wire instead and come down to this push button, go through like this, through this wire, down to the LED, and then back through ground as before. So either button can be pushed. And this is called a parallel circuit because unlike a series circuit, we have uh, two different paths running in parallel. Either one will complete the circuit. It can either be this one going down through this wire or this one going down through this wire.
So two paths, which is why it's called a parallel circuit.